Alright, this is my Sarawak Laksa or Sabah, I think. <laughs> no matter what you call it, it's the local Laksa. Good morning, KK. Yeah, this is my second morning in Kota Kinabaru. So my plan now is to, I mean, my plan for today, look at how casually I'm dressed. So you might have guessed that it's going to be a beach day. Yeah, okay, but before going to the beach, I hope to get something nice to eat. Although I've just taken some cereal back in the hostel. So yeah, I wanted very much to try the uh, Sabah Laksa. So I hope I can actually kind of uh, get my wish come true. When you are at KK and you realize that Yifong Laksa, I mean the very famous one is closed. So what, what do you do? I mean, other than sucking time, sucking time. Okay, so what I did is that I asked around and they introduced me to this place called Kota Kinabaru Cafe where to try the local laksa. So that's where I am now. Yep. So this is the laksa store. Hi. Okay. Mom sing on go. This is Sarawak laksa. Okay. Okay. Sit down. Okay. This is Sai Sai Wen. อ่าหมิ่นโหฟันก็ยาวแนวแม่อ่ะโอเคโอเคอ่าถึงกันสินะอ่าอย่างก๊อปปี้อย่างก๊อปปี้ก๊อปปี้ก็แก่อีกอ
Udo that I tried. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, so I've got the indication of what a Sarawa Aksa tastes like. Good. It's a little bit light. How soy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the texture. Very cow soy taste. Let me try this. Oh, the chili is nice. Okay. Okay, so I think the chili break the taste. Initially, I thought they put out the chili, it just tastes like cow soy. But with the chili, I think it just changed the entire equation. Be able to try on this laksa during this trip. This thing is big, I'll be put, yeah. I think probably eight. Let me try the prawns. Alright, nothing to scream about. So I've just finished my Sabah Laksa at the coffee shop right at the corner so how do I rate this? Hmm. I think without putting in the chili and the lime okay it just tastes like the cow soy in uh, of, of Chiang Mai but if you add those two in okay so that changed the entire taste I think giving it a very unique so called yeah taste yeah so I tend to think that if it's something unique and something that I might come back to I will give it a A minus okay so that's an A minus for me incidentally so that's the uh, pop noodle store I patronized yesterday so the thing I like about KK is that everything is so compact so all the so called the nice food stores are just like <laughs> almost next to each other okay so yeah I think these are all the old coffee shops yeah that survived through the years nice mirror so after a very hearty laksa breakfast I'm moving on to my main itinerary for the day which is uh, doing island hopping so I've not actually kind of do any research on it but I roughly know that okay what you need to do is to go to the pier and then there's lots of boats over there okay for you to inquire I think that's very much the most I know yeah and the pier is uh, very close to the city center that's where this uh, Surya Sabah is the big shopping mall it's just right behind me and the pier is right here right in front so the name of this pier is called Jesterton Point which is right across the street So I saw two westerners in there. Okay, so I, I must be I must be correct. Yeah. Just a certain point. Oh. 
Let's be careful with the road. This is the custom building. We are not going in there. <laughs> yep, this is just a turn point. So convenient. I think this is the where most of the uh, boat tickets are sold. Right? Any any destination you can think of, like Labuan. So this is the Labuan. And this is the island hopping. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are quite a lot of uh, operators. Yep, some more here. Okay, uh, where should I start? I think that's the thing about having too many choices. Hmm. Let me think it. Alright, so this is the information given to me. So for island hopping, one island 35 ringgit, two island 45. So I'm more likely to take the two island one. Uh, so if I, I can, I can do Manukan first, right? If you take one island, you choose. One no, island you choose. I, if I take two island, can two I take island, Manukan yes. first? Yeah. Then I... I will take or something. You can choose. Uh, in, this, one, this one including the emission? This one only include this one. Terminal fee. So what about going into the park? When you arrive, the island is one. Ah, okay. So I have to pay. Yes, right. Twenty twenty-five. Yes. If you take two island, you just pay once. The first island only. The second island only. Okay. So I pay at the island. Yep. Right. I see. Okay. So forty-five plus twenty-five. Yes. I think that's. What 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 time is the last? Last boat. We have a four o'clock. The last boat. Okay. So between let's say Manukan to maybe. We have a 12 o'clock. If you take now, 10 o'clock plus 4 and 4 is 4. Oh, okay. I see. So which is the more popular one? Uh? Manukan and Sapi? Or? Mamuti. Mamuti. Huh? Mamuti. Mamuti? Yes. Popular. Popular? Yes. Wow. Ah, okay. Hmm. Oh, Sapi, yes. Before coronavirus, Sapi is very famous. Yes. But right now, no. This one, two islands. Famous. Now both islands? Yes, Mamuti Island. Oh, okay. So I paid for 55 ringgit. Okay, so 45 for two places. Yeah. So according to the person, she told me that uh, just it's as soon as possible. There's no scheduled trip. So I will go to Manukan first. And then at 12 p.m., okay, go back to the jetty and then move on to the second island. All right, I'm, and I'm supposed to collect my snorkel gear okay, before boy. I leave. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Very much. All right. So, this. Okay, so you are greeted with restaurants here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm here to collect my gear. Right, this is oh. one mask. One mask. Okay. Okay. I I return where? Yeah, yeah. When I return, I return to over there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. 